YouTube is home to some of the best content that I like to enjoy on a daily basis, but it can also be filled with some of the most unfunny content imaginable, and that's what I'm here to talk about today. Recently, YouTube has been giving me suggestions to watch these AI-generated live streams. It's things like SpongeBob or Family Guy, where everything is run by AI and suggestions from the chat, and it has to be some of the most unfunny stuff I have ever seen in my life. I'm laughing more in that instant laughing about how much how unfunny it is than actually watching the live stream itself. If you haven't seen these, it's just, you know, computer generated versions of SpongeBob or Family Guy or other shows. And hell, we might get AI generated Will and Grace next. That'll be the next live stream that comes about. It all started with this AI generated version of Seinfeld on Twitch, which got really popular really quick. Then they got banned for the AI saying some very bad things. And since then, they've kind of just fallen off. But what that did is create this group of people that just want to create these unthoughtful, unfunny, lame attempts at, at comedy. Uh, so I was watching some of it today. It offered me the AI SpongeBob one, so I watched it for a little bit. The only things that happened were they had talks about making a bomb, talks about ketamine, uh, jokes, other jokes that just made no sense because it's just coming from the chat, from people putting messages in discords, I guess. They always used to say that if you put enough monkeys and enough typewriters in a room, at some point they would type out Shakespeare. Unfortunately, I think these channels are more like what it would be if you put a bunch of monkeys and typewriters together to try and write something that's funny. It's just not funny. I didn't laugh a single time. The only humor that comes from it is when maybe the characters like glitch through the walls, they occasionally have funny sounds play, something like that. But if that's the humor that you have in these streams, they're just not worthwhile. Now, I imagine that it's probably just because the stream the stream is created from random chat suggestions that are like, you know, probably kids going like, oh, make a bomb, do ketamine. Like, that's the things that they find funny. And I just can't believe it. The SpongeBob one was a little more well put together than the Family Guy one, which the Family Guy one was just even more unfunny. It's, you know, it was just, at one point they started doing the badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom thing. And that was it. That was the whole bit was them saying badger over again. Peter said mushroom, mushroom. And then it was over. And then they started talking about Meg's feet and tits. It's like, uh, look, I, I know it's not much better than Family Guy already. Like, Family Guy doesn't really break the, any barriers with their comedy. But still, like, give it some credit, man. That is just, it's just unfunny. If this is the way that AI is going, I don't think we really have to worry about the machines taking over anytime soon. All they're going to do is create terrible Family Guy and SpongeBob clips. I guess I might be somewhat in the minority because if you look at these channels, like the SpongeBob one, there are thousands of people viewing these channels. Maybe I just don't know what comedy is anymore. Maybe I'm just old school and, like, don't find random humor like that. Like, I, I'm a millennial. I grew up in a time where random humor became a thing. But this is just random to be random. You know, it's like those people that are like, oh, I'm so funny. I just say the most random things. And then they say, oh, let's make a bomb, Squidward. It's like, that's not funny. You're not funny. It's not funny. Stop. I don't know if I've just brushed the surface with these things, if there's a lot more of them. If there are, maybe let me know. Maybe there is a funny one that actually exists. I doubt it. But if there is, let me know. I don't know. Maybe there is one that exists that actually might get some laughs out of me. Either way, thanks for listening to me rant for a second about something stupid like that. I appreciate you as always. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.